Now, Hannah, why don't you tell the viewers where we're at this week? Why? Well, I just think they would like to know, you know, where this video is coming from. Why? Well, wouldn't it be good to just to share with the viewers that, you know, where we're at? Why? Arizona. here in the town square for Alo, Arizona. Let me show you around our campsite here at Gunsight Wash. You see our trailer is parked in this nice little area here. We have a fire pit there. Two dogs looking inside thinking there's going to be a treat for them soon. Our solar is set up here and we use this one to kind of chase the sun. Uh, our nearest neighbor, we have one way over there quite a ways to those neighbors and we have a neighbor right over there so we're pretty isolated but not too isolated we're not totally alone here which is good it's really been an enjoyable place to stay we've been here for five days and definitely would come back and definitely would recommend if you are the type of person that would like to do boondocking these uh, BLM land campgrounds are really nice um, and obviously they're free, so it's a nice way to extend your camping budget by staying at one of these. You can mix it up like we're going to do, stay here for a few nights and then go stay at a more expensive campground. Or you can just use that as a way to reduce your overall costs. We've been lucky in that we've been able to do a mix of state campgrounds and BLM land. And that's helped us kind of control our camping costs on this trip. I thought we'd... Uh take you guys for a walk around this campground and uh, show you around a little bit. So Monty and Zephyr are with us. Let's go. Okay. First camping. It's nice. It's a it's a nice area. Um, it's not it's not no crowded. You can pretty much pick your own spot. You no, know, that's the thing with this first camping is you can pretty much pick your own spot. Right. We're standing here in the town square for Alo, Arizona, and this is a small town near the 
southern border of Arizona and Mexico, about 25 miles to the border. John Campbell Greenway had a vision for this town that he wanted it to be more than just a corporate town. He wanted it to be unique. And so he laid the town out with the town square and all the roads leading to this town square like the spokes on a wheel. And you can see this really nice green area in the middle of the town, which is you know pretty unique and makes this little village stand out. The new Cornelia mine was the third largest copper mine in the world. Now the copper mine closed in 1985 and Alo suffered because of that. It lost half of its population and the town went into disrepair for the many number of years. But the community found ways to research this town and bring it back and it's really nice now. Yes, it is. They formed an international Sonorian Desert Alliance in 1993, which helped refurbish the town to what it is today. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's really neat. And, you know, just one of those things that we were coming out to this area and didn't even know what was here, and it was just a nice little gem to stumble across. Right, we drove by it the other day and said that we had to come back. So today, we decided to take advantage of the nice day. Well, we took the building over in 1976. It has been abandoned for about two years. Oh. Chamber of Commerce had title to it. It cost uh -huh. 10 bucks. <laughs> as long as we can make a museum out of it. Uh -huh. we, we leased the land from the mine. You're on mine property right now. Okay. And as soon as you got off that pavement, you're on mine property. And uh, it cost us zero dollars a year for the lease. So we're happy to pay that. It's a little bit. I'll hold about 3,500 people, we think. We don't know, but we wouldn't think. Uh -huh. <laughs> And uh, heyday about close to 8,000, not quite, back in the 60s. Mm. Spanish mining for silver and gold and Indians mining for colors. They call it red color, ah, oh, ho. Many red color, red paint. And they take the red rocks, smash them up, make a powder out of them, mix them with animal fat, make a paint. Oh, okay. Oh. Spanish hear that, ah, oh, ho, sounds like ah, oh, to them. So they call this place Las Minas de Plata de Ajo, the silver mines of garlic. Oh. Because that's what Ajo means in Spanish. This uh -huh. is the Overlook. You can see that little building over there, that's part of the Overlook. Mm -hmm. Arizona was a big copper producer for a long time. Still the, still the major player. Well, I can keep you here a long time looking at pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting, Come and enjoy yes. our museum. It's a hometown museum. It's just uh, this stuff brought in and on loan or on donation. Oh, yeah. very cool. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'll be around. Okay. What did you think of the tour of the little town we visited today? I thought it was very pretty. It's, um, the, I believe it's the center of town or... Yeah, uh, the town square. The town square. And it is. It's very pretty. The architecture is beautiful. And uh, yeah, it has that um, Mexican uh, mission style mm -hmm. with the big arches and all the buildings and then the churches at the end of the uh, square. Right. Monty. <laughs> Monty, you're not the cameraman. Hey, hey, stop, stop. You're going to knock the camera over. Yeah, it was really pretty town. I mean, it had that Spanish mission style with the arches and the two churches at the end of the town and the train station at the other end of the town square. It was just really unique. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's a couple little shops in there and I think a couple restaurants. Yeah, there was like a, a, a an art store with, with yeah. paintings and pictures and such. And like you said, a couple shops, a restaurant, a coffee bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, and it was very quiet. There wasn't really a lot going on. <laughs> I think that's the problem with the town right now. There's not right. a lot going down. It used to be a company town for the copper mine that was there, but that's gone out of business in what, the 1985. Mm -hmm. And since then the town has struggled and it's starting to come back a little bit. And they've refurbished the downtown, which is really nice. But as you drive in through some of the streets, some of the houses and such, you can tell that it's, you know, there's just not a lot there for those people. We're near that wall that, well, we won't get into politics, but someone built a wall along the border here. We actually went there and visited yesterday, so let's show you some of that video. So what do you think? 
you hear at the border wall. It's ugly. That's true. It's not a pretty sight for our country. No. I'm surprised people haven't been down and um, put graffiti on it. Yeah. I suppose if there's a will, there's a way to get over it. Yep. I mean, you have to really want to you know, get across, I guess. Well, we made it to the end of the scenic drive. This is the Quinto Bieco Drive. Or something like or that. Or something like that. I'm sure we're mispronouncing it. Right. Um, there is an oasis back here that you can hike back to. And I guess there's some, there's some water and other things to see. But today, we're not going to do that. No, we got the dogs with us. And even though this is a national park, I guess we could probably take the dogs back there. You're really not supposed to, so we're not going to. One thing I thought was kind of interesting is on the Mexico side, they have a nice highway. We got a dirt road. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I thought too. They're zipping along on this nice highway over here and all we got is this unpaved dirt stone road to ride along this um, length of the border wall. Right, so apparently if you, you know, were on the other side looking to come over here, maybe the dirt road's a deterrent. Could be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure be. it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's get back. Any final thoughts on uh, gun site wash, uh, dispersed camping? Mm. I'm a little sorry to leave it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, our tanks are full, so yeah. we we need to leave. Yep. Or yeah. we could leave and go come back if we found a place to dump it. Anyway. I thought it was very nice. I certainly come back. Yeah, it's easy to get in here. Um, it's just, you know, drive in. There's plenty of paths around. You can bring bring a big rig in and turn them around fairly easy. So don't worry about that. Or you could just park out by the road on the parking area and drive back in here if you wanted to. Yeah, I mean, pick, walk back in here and find a site. Yeah, pick your own spot. Yeah. You know, whatever whatever length or you know it accommodates just about anything yeah and there's a lot more to it than just coming straight in you can go off to the south and there's a whole another section over on the other other side there which less people seem to be using so mm -hmm. if you want a little privacy you can get over there right i would say the only one yeah the only drawback is there's really not a lot around right there's no facilities no you know, there's a convenience store down the road but that's it right You'd have to, well, you can drive into Y. There's a couple dollar stores there. No, that's not Y. That was uh, Alo. Oh, okay. Alo. 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 Yeah, so you could drive into Alo and find some stores. There's like a Family Dollar and an IGA and such. And that's not too far away. No, it's about 12 miles. Right. And we didn't we didn't do any hiking because we just didn't have well, time. Well, I did. I did. Yeah. There's, I mean, I walked a couple miles every day. There's a lot of paths if you just like walking the flat land in the desert. It's very good. Right. So if you're into hiking, there's a lot of that to do. So, yeah. Yeah. If you're looking just to get away from the hustle and bustle of campgrounds, campgrounds, and you want some free campground camping, yeah, then this is the perfect place. That's absolutely. Yep. All right, let's get going. Let's hit the road. Okay, we have, what, a couple hour drive? A couple hour drive to Tucson and our next spot. So we will see you guys there. Okay. Okay.